Well, uh, I'm, I'm quite interested in the way that they've got quite a bad reputation in uh, continental, in European philosophy, um, probably a range of other philosophies as well. So they often um, treated in opposition to um, this idea of uh, so you have uh, the clock time, which is predictable, um, um, uh, objective, uh, sort of going on relentlessly, um, in uh, sort of in comparison with the um, human time that is, is a different kind of duration and flow. Um, and so in my work, I'm really interested in showing that clocks aren't as objective as we all think that they are. Um, and that there's actually a lot of choices that go into how we tell time using clocks. Um, so there's choices about what kinds of things we want to be coordinated with um, that, that shape the clocks that we use. So, I mean, a good example that I always use is that you can look at a clock and tell if you're late for work, but you can't tell if you're late um, for climate change, to respond to climate change. So it's kind of this idea that clocks will let you into some kind of worlds and not others. Um, and so in my work I've been interested in trying to develop different kinds of clocks that would highlight these sort of hidden worlds or highlight these other rhythms that um, our usual clocks aren't showing as well.